Hi there, son of Cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you're doing really well. This uh, reading is for the rest of June 2023. So it's just going to be kind of um, us pulling a bunch of different cards. Um, message is coming out. This might be something to expect. That's not how I'm feeling that with the message. And this is the Kipper fortune telling deck, I think. Kipper. Does that say anything else? Um, a marriage or a business proposal, a commitment around something that is um, strong. And the lovers, really? This is a really good fortunate side. A sign for you you may have a crossroads to be at and this might be one of the issues or a commit like I said it, it could be a really strong commitment around um, something to or someone all right so let's do um, let's do past present and future and we will use double majors deck first and if you have been drawn to this reading, then there's probably a message for you in it. Um, I always open up for your spirit team, your angels, um, to get messages for your highest good. So, this is double majors. We don't take reversals in it because there's already two of each. Except for, um, there's no minor uh, real arcana. There's major and court cards. So, past energy. <clears throat> past energy. Two are wanting to come out for your past energy. Mm. While you're busy being maybe overconfident, there are, looks like a lion that snuck up on you. Um, like quite literally from the card, there's something about turning your back to something that maybe maybe shouldn't turn our back to, I guess. The Queen of Wands couldn't really be bothered in this. She's She's in a serene place, but she's not um, doing, I don't know, what, what her normal thing usually is. It's uh, it's kind of focused on something um, to themselves. So you could have Aries. You could have Leo energy, too, here. Um, what's the present? I think that one's wanting to come out for the present. <sighs> What is going on? So this is the energy of being like suspicious or vulnerable feeling. Um, well, I mean, because this person's like peeking through their blinds. So it might be feeling kind of vulnerable, open or exposed more so than you would, you know, far past your comfort zone. If, if that makes any sense. And, um, and so there's kind of like this nervous energy that's really not the best in line with your intuition, but it, it, it can get back to that. It, so either a letdown or something that you were maybe overconfident, uh, something that happened possibly. What's the future energy? Okay, and you can have uh, Pisces here, and you can have it twice too. So... Queen of Cups is future energy, which is really good. It's the one where that that queen is like taking care of themselves, opening up to receive more um, love and support or to, to also give love and support. So the past and the present energies are just kind of devil in reverse is on the bottom of the deck. So the Queen of Cups is focusing more on the love that they give themselves in order to be able to give um, love and receive love in the outside world. So this is feeling vulnerable or exposed. I'm not sure why, but we're going to... Uh, maybe it's because of a high level of commitment or being at a crossroads or, I don't know, uh, waiting on a message. Perhaps even waiting on a package or letter like that. Tell me about the past energy tell me more about um past energy and this is the wild unknown kim Cran's deck that was double majors 
All right, give me something for Queen of Wands and Strength, Past Energy. What is this saying? Um, feeling, <laughs> there's like a contradiction. There's there's feeling like not taking a risk in, in one picture and then the and then taking too much of a risk in the other card that's strange you have two aces both are in the reverse and justice justice is your truth or clarity in a situation um and these cups being in the reverse i would think would be talking about a past situation or person maybe that we trusted too much and and then there's this energy of really needing to give the cup to yourself <clears throat> maybe it was just you doing you um i don't know but something got balanced out with justice libra energy something got balanced um or weighed out you know Balance between possibly home life, confident work life. Current energy, I have the Son of Cups in the reverse with the Daughter of Swords. The Daughter of Swords is really being able to read in between the lines. It's about good communication. The Son of Cups in the reverse is something that doesn't feel to me like it's genuine enough to even move forward. So there's something about an offer not either not being well received or not or an apology um or just really kind of doing something different than what would get them forward uh the daughter of swords is getting all kinds of communication through intuitive hits and is very perceptive and psychic energy there this could be hierophant energy you could have libra gemini aquarius Pisces, 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 Taurus, it's the Hermit, time, uh, this is time with yourself, maybe that's why you're looking out a window, uh, so this is you spending time with oneself, to oneself, I mean, you could just be like out, you know, dealing with like external issues at the moment, and so that might be why it's necessary to find more time for um, yourself. The hermit in this deck with the um, shell is indicating that you are, you know, you are carrying, in essence, your home with you everywhere you, you go, or everywhere your heart goes, really. The hermit um, turtle here has his whole home. Um, and then there's a light to shine uh, your way. But the journey's like very you. You could feel very... Um, Maybe to oneself, maybe solitary at this time, or if you like, like feeling like being solitary at this time. Your past energy, you've got the two females, a lion, and two cats, one black, one white. And here you have a younger Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy, Pisces, and you have Virgo. Now you have the tower. I can't help but compare this, the tower uh, energy that is bringing something down as very similar to what you have on top of the hermit. Like, so your fire, um, what helps you see is going to help others to see something that comes down, um, something that came down, but it we'll get some more <laughs> we'll get some more make sure make sure you can see okay so tell me more about future energy and then we'll go back and use a different deck for the tower tell me about um taking care of oneself the queen of cups could be somebody that comes in your life that is very easy to talk to or has a really good like they actually actively listen Four of Cups in the reverse. The Hangman in the reverse. 
Hmm. You've done a lot of inside work here, especially with this hermit. Something really changes here in the past when you give more love to yourself and, and it's about you doing you, but something about not turning your back to something. Um, this is a, a an offer that's not being accepted for whatever reason. It's coming across as that. Uh, either a proposal or a business proposal or something like that. The Four of Cups is indicating in the reverse that it's time for something new, especially when it's paired with the Hanged Man, which is like a timing card. If, if in the reverse, it's like, you know, no, not much time to waste or no dilly dally. <laughs> dilly dally. Don't dilly dally. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So it might be a focus on your health too, um, as this card is indicating that if you step in that archetype, you're gonna know like the right balance between giving love to yourself, giving love to others. We have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Five of Pentacles as the challenge to the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. It's being sad about what didn't work, what didn't work out. For some of you all, it is an actual marriage. Some of you all, it's just a you know, soulmate connection or. Uh, but it's some kind of major change. So, sadness, um, being in um, the energy of um, sadness over production or lack or even health issue. The challenge is coming out of this situation and making some big moves and this does indicate like a change up of some kind of commitment four of wands in the reverse hmm This energy is coming across as somebody with like a rebellious um, kind of personality. But like I said, there may be the passion that's there to help move something along. That wanted to come out too, the Knight of Wands, but it's in a reverse, so this is like no movement yet taking a pause to reflect back on what didn't work and, and why we might be stuck in, in some kind of lack consciousness. Uh, even the rose like that is still beautiful. So this might be about forgiving yourself for a mistake and moving on or making that necessary break uh, or no pause, no movement in order to address some maybe health concerns. Finding somebody to talk to would be smart. Something about the timing. Father of Cups reverse the devil in reverse. So two devils in reverse. Father of Cups in the reverse. Somebody that was either affected by possibly an addiction or a vice or a negative attachment here or just some kind of attachment that you let go of possibly angered somebody that that energy was even allowed in the first place is what i'm getting father of cups in reverse could be about an ongoing emotional or mood transformation because of the releasing of whatever this was, if that was substances or addiction or vices. We all have them. Seven of Cups, I need to see something clearly. Okay, let's see if there's any kind of like final messages on what you wanna Tell us about how this is going to improve. So, 
Tell us more about um, this high priestess in the reverse. Tell us more about that. Father and son of cups are both out here. And daughter of swords. There's another it's Scorpio energy in reverse. Death in reverse. So it's, um, a, it's a transformation taking place. A big one. It could be a good tower for some. It definitely has to do with this devil energy. Look. Two in the reverse and one upright. Hmm. Maybe that is the transformation. Yeah, that is the transformation. That is what this is about. This stuff is all about not things that are going to happen, but the reflecting on it. And this Ten of Cups is what the tower is bringing. There's some kind of good tower that's coming to rearrange things. It's either to build or something will be revealed. Nice. And the Queen of Wands is like getting your mojo back with the Ace of Wands too. New passionate beginnings, adventures, something being revealed to you by how you feel. Aries energy. And then a Ten of Cups is like fairy tale happiness for everybody involved. Everybody's happy. And so confidence and major transformation, major confidence from this transformation and um, dealing with these devils or demons, like dealing with them and um, yeah, not letting it control you for your life. So that's what I've got. We're going to pull from um, Ask Your Angels deck, I think it's called. messages here for cancer helpful people and yes helpful people and yes it's a yes with an exclamation mark to whatever it was and then on the bottom of the deck you have within the next few weeks so that's really interesting huh? and having helpful people there or people to help you out nice Care required. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. Now, you've got a lot of fortune cookies out here. And jealousy. Watch you trust your personal secrets and plans with. Uh, spend time outdoors in nature to reconnect and replenish. Surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. And an invitation can bring love to those searching health an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet many new friendships are on the horizon and then practice with the four of wands in the reverse there may be a need for more practice um, it says after a while you'll dance on air practice makes perfect you're almost there let's get some tea leaves some tea leaves here we go Bowl, plenty of material things. Jug, a light-hearted, carefree time. Well, family wishes come true. Bo, you are highly thought of. Oh. Great happiness, spiritual love. And for some reason, these are... Flip that way. Sorry about that. Yeah, bowl, plenty of material things. Plenty of material things. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Beware of self-delusion. A wall, a misunderstanding. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. And I have dog, perfection, protection from a powerful friend. Wind chimes, peace, and heart. Okay, here, Cancer, I drew your um, angel number messages. You got 21. You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is charged, and it reveals in itself everything you do, from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. I am inspiring. And then I have 1212. 
Stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. I am focused. And that is what I've got for you. Sending you love and light. If you want a private reading, reach out to me. In the description box, you'll find information. 